I was 25, my mom had passed away in a car accident. For Adrian Rush, the grief, the pain, all too familiar. And my dad had already passed away like when I was 18. The weight of having to bury both parents was too heavy. Then her only sibling went missing and was never found. She became addicted to heroin and had no place to call home. I liked living on the streets because I didn't have to have any bills or like any responsibility and I didn't want to deal with anything that I was dealing with. In her darkness, one thing became clear and it was that thought that would turn her life around. Then I'm either going to end up in jail or dead. And with that, I needed to change. Adrian found the support her life depended on in a place she didn't expect. It's like I remember it bits and pieces because I was really out of it, so, and I was real rude to the staff. Amistad's peer support and recovery center. You were there well, because you had to be, but now you're with Amistad mm -hmm. because you want to be. Right, yeah. She now works with them delivering meals and as a mentor. I think it's a very human connection that happens. Brian Townsend is the executive director of Amistad a peer support based agency in Portland that helps people struggling with anything from addiction to homelessness. And we do it from a platform of really trying to support um, folks while um, empowering people who have a lived experience of those issues to be really the conductors of the work. It's just a good feeling to help people and it's different that I know the majority of them. They're telling me like uh, I'm an inspiration and like they look up to me because if I can turn my life around, they can. It's funded by the United Way, which needs your help now more than ever. We assure you that your dollars will go where they are needed most to make the long-lasting, important change that our community needs. A long-lasting, important change Adrian discovered when she found a family, even when she thought she had none. If your mom and dad were here today, do you think they'd be proud? What would they say? I mean, I would hope they would be proud of me. I hope so. I think they would.